I got a confession to make today. I'm neurotic. <laughs> that just felt weird to kind of just throw out, but I'm very, 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 very neurotic. Extremely neurotic. How neurotic? I'm probably the most neurotic person you've ever met in your life, as weird as that it may seem to say. I was watching this video by Actualize, 40 signs that you're uh, neurotic. And I'm like, huh. I think I have like every single one of these. Like it just, it felt like he was taking me on a journey. It was like, this was like, this is neurotic, this is neurotic, this is neurotic. And it felt like as he has, they just kept on leading, like one thing will lead to the next neurotic thing. And it just, some like grand build up. But I realized though, the thing I'm the most neurotic about, by, by neurotic, I mean, you know, he has his own definition, but I've tried to make it a little simple the way I see it is like just when there's a conflict in your mind when you have two thoughts in your mind two rules in your mind about what you should do what you shouldn't do and they're just conflicting with each other you just got a lot of inner conflict a lot of inner dialogue like you think you should do it you don't think you should do it you think you should do that you think you should do that and you can't like decide what it is you should do and then you just kind of run around almost going crazy it's really really insane but i feel like my biggest neurotic tendency is not accepting the present moment now that sounds i don't want that to come off spiritual woo i want to keep this as pragmatic as i can for the viewers for for you guys to understand it because i say that and it's like oh somebody might be like oh he's getting too spiritual for me i gotta click off i'm not ready for this but what i really mean by that it's not it's not spiritual at all it's not religious it's just how much am I trying to run away from what I am? Let me explain. Right now, I work at Target. And I got shifts that are there like eight hours, all right? Think about it when you do this at work. And it's like, when I'm there, I'm looking for something to do. I'm like, I'll pull out my phone, look at my phone, look, oh, there's something else to do, there's something else to do, there's something to do. Or I'm thinking too much. I can't stop thinking. It's hard, honestly. Like, I just, I can't stop thinking. It's just nonstop thoughts. It's just, usually lots of thoughts are like oh what i would rather be doing what where i could be what i could be doing instead what maybe i'd want to do when i get home what i'm gonna do later what i'm gonna do in life is just any kind of thoughts they could be negative thoughts whatever you may be thinking about just think about it <laughs> ironic as that just sounded so i really noticed when i'm in work like i'm uncomfortable I don't want to be there. I'll just say that's 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 what makes it so neurotic is I don't want to be there. I don't want to work at your target. I don't have a personal problem against you, but I just I don't want to be there. I don't want to go to work. It's like I don't want to be there, but I am there. But I am there. Here I am. I'm at work. How many times are you at work? How many times are you anywhere and you don't want to be there? And then that, just that alone, leads to just like infinite anxiety. You can't stop thinking what's really going on is you're trying to escape where you are mentally. It's almost like your mind is trying to project an image. It's like, let's say you want to be on vacation when you're at work. And it's like your mind, then you're like, you go like, oh, let me go to the beach or go on a cruise, go to a resort, wherever you want to go to vacation. Well, let's just pick a beach right now. And it's like, then you start imagining yourself on that beach. You imagine yourself in that chair. You imagine yourself in the, by the sand. Maybe you're sitting on the chair. The sand's a little bit down here. You got the water in front of you. You can hear it. There's a lot of people around. Maybe there's food around. You got music playing, but you're still at work. You're still here. You're still <laughs> sitting at your home or sitting out looking at your phone watching a YouTube video. You're somewhere right now watching this video. But I probably took you there for a moment where you almost imagine yourself at a beach. That's kind of anxiety. That's kind of neurosis right there. Like it's crazy because it's like you can't not think. You can't necessarily not imagine these things. Like you do kind of still want them. Like yeah, it's like I want it. But I guess you gotta understand too, where's the need and where's the want separate? Don't make it too much of a need thing, because if you need it too much, that's just gonna make everything worse. And I suppose too, on that whole wanted idea, like I don't wanna be at work, I wanna go do be somewhere else. The only way, honestly, I can see to handle that is to just completely let go of everything. Completely just let go of everything. 
and just as crazy as it sounds find a way to be happy at work find a way to be entertained not like cheap stimulus where like i'll oh, pull out my phone stay on my phone all day but like truly just happy to be there for some reason at least you know not like excited happiness but just calm okay not full of anxiety not full of thoughts just centered and grounded in yourself feeling yourself emotionally if you feel discomfort where if you're somewhere where you are and you're not comfortable you're not comfortable there how do you feel in your chest how do you feel in your stomach do you feel uncomfortable like be honest do you feel sick what's going on in here not just what's going on in here, but what's going on in your chest and your stomach. What are you really feeling? Because that might be what you're actually running away from. Like I just kind of explained that in a logical sense that maybe, you know, logically you don't want to be at work. Logically you want to be somewhere else. But what you can also take a look at is how's the situation making you feel? What's your discomfort level like? How, Cause like when I'm at work, you know, I could be nervous. I could be afraid, I could be a little sick and just, I don't honestly know what else to call this feeling but discomfort, just this feeling in my chest and my stomach that I just really don't want to be here. It's, it, I guess it sort of, it feels like depression, it's like sadness, it's like I feel like I'm in prison and I just, I want to go. That's why it's so much, it feels so much like depression. I don't feel like it's exactly depression but it feels so much like it maybe it is exactly depression because it's like... I just feel like I'm being trapped, I'm being compacted, I'm being held against my will and my, my body, my being just wants to get out, it wants to run around, it wants to explode and yell and scream, maybe even cry, laugh, it wants to experience life, it wants to feel things, it wants to feel joy, but I gotta be able to feel joy and experience things and feel things where I am. I gotta stop being afraid of life, stop running away from life, just accepting however I feel. I'm so neurotic, like I realize, I even, I try to change how I feel. I try to use my thoughts to try to really alter my feelings. It is like, it's possible, like there is truth to that. Like I'm like, okay, I'm in this bad state of mind. Let's go to this good state of mind. And then yes, I feel better. But it gets to the point where if you become dependent on that and that's all you really know, then you're just gonna be going crazy all day trying to change your mental state, trying to change your emotional state when you can fix the problem and you can find peace of mind by just accepting where you are. I know that sounds so weird. You, It's so hard to explain. Just the idea of accepting where you are, it's just, it's so hard to really explain. Like I've struggled with this and I dealt with this and the problem is it's not a logical thing. It's not like you logically be like, okay, I am here. I accept that I am here. It's like a bodily experience. You have to see how does your body feel. Is your body, and as in is a separate person. I can just click lay out here. Imagine yourself like you're your mind, your spirit, and your body. And they are all connected, but they don't always work together. And it's like maybe your mind and your spirit wants to do one thing while your body wants to do another thing. Like maybe like just like a real like example maybe your mind and your spirit wants to go somewhere and then your body is hungry or it's feeling sexual tension it's just but that's in your body when you're hungry when you're feeling sexual tension that happens in your body it's not necessarily your mind it's not your soul that's getting stimulated now the mind can get stimulated but it really like happens down in here this is where the real feelings are going on is like you can come down in your body and you can feel that you're hungry you feel that and i want you to try to go down in your body and feel when you're just comfortable where you are Feel when you're afraid, when you're nervous, when you're scared, when you have any sort of bodily tension. I want you to try to feel it and not not have a problem with it. Not judge it, not be like, oh, this is bad. I don't want to feel bad. I don't want to be sad. I don't want to feel hungry. I don't want to feel these feelings. It's more like, okay, my body feels this feeling. This is what it is, and I'm just gonna accept it. And it's the beauty of acceptance, what's really good about it is if you can accept it, it can actually go away. It can actually, that can be what removes it from the from you. It'll, oh God, this is my neurosis. I'm really here trying to get out here on the, all my information on this camera, and I'm just, 
my mind likes to go all over the place. I have so many different thoughts going on. I gotta check to make sure the camera's actually recording. But if you can just try to follow me, follow me for a sec. If you can try to accept where you are. By accept where you are, I mean don't have any thoughts about being somewhere else. Don't have any thoughts at all. Don't, literally, don't think about anything. Like can you be at peace of mind? Can you just be happy? Can you feel like you're free? Can you at least be calm and relax? And when you have stress come up, when you have sadness come up, any kind of bad emotion comes up, you kind of just let it come up and you just feel it. You accept it and then you watch it let go. That's, that's, that's really the big thing here. That's why it's, this is so hard to explain it to, so hard to take in. Because at this point, you may be looking for how are you supposed to feel good? How are you supposed to feel happy? How are you supposed to enjoy being where you are when you don't want to be there? And it's like, you don't have to. You don't really have to do anything, but just literally experience whatever emotion you're, it is that you're experiencing. Whatever feeling is going on down here. All those negative feelings that you have in here, it's really just not labeling them as negative or not labeling them as being bad and just, just living them. That's it. Really, as simple as that sounds, it's really just living in the moment. Living in that, like let's say I feel really, really, um, I don't want to say depressed because I don't necessarily feel like that's so much emotional. There's a lot of weird factors into that, but I just, I feel sad. It's like, you could be like, I don't want to feel sad. Stop feeling sad. Or you could be like, okay, I feel sad now. That's just how I feel. So I'm going to be okay. This will pass. And you don't fight it. 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 You don't resist it. You just kind of accept it. You breathe it in and you just let, it's going to go on its own. You don't have to do anything. That's what's so complicated about this is because if you can just be in the moment, you can just accept how you feel, whatever, how bad it is, it's going to pass. If you can zero in on it, you can focus it on it and you don't attach a bunch of thoughts to it because the thoughts will grow that feeling and then that will grow the thoughts and then that will grow the feeling and that will grow the thoughts and you got this, then you end up in a, in a depression spiral. That's not what I want for you. I just want for you to practice trying to accept where you are because if not you're going to find yourself to be have a lot of inner conflict because you're going to be in a lot of places you don't want to be at no matter what you do and if you're just trying to always run away from them you're going to have two problems later on in life one of them is going to hit you every single day when you get to that time and place where you want to just like okay now it's my time to be happy now i'm actually where i want to be you're still stuck in that state of mind of anxiety of running away of not feeling it so when you actually have those good emotions come up maybe you have good thoughts come up you can't maybe you're in that good place maybe you're actually on that beach you won't be able to be there you're still going to be that same neurotic self who's trying to leave work he's trying to escape work he's thinking too much he's on his phone all the time and then when he goes home with his family and he puts them all in a car and he takes them all to the beach he doesn't know what else to do but to have a lot of anxiety to run away from the situation he was trying to run towards to pull out his phone to be really neurotic to have a lot of inner conflict or maybe he puts it all down he puts it all away and he's just like ha i want to enjoy life now but you never practice enjoying life so that's the beauty of being able to accept where you are even if you don't want to be there because then when you get where you want to be you can actually enjoy it and maybe that's why you're not where you want to be maybe the universe isn't going to put you where you want to be because it knows you're not ready to enjoy it yet and it knows what you really want is to be happy to be able to fulfill to have peace of mind to just be complete in life but you can't do that if you can't enjoy life and you can't enjoy life sort of moment to moment. It's like if you want to enjoy life, you got to enjoy all of it. You got to experience all of it. You got to let all of it just run wild, run free through you. Let your emotions go all over the place while you still remain in control. You can still remain in control. This doesn't mean, oh, now I'm just some crazy lunatic with no rules. It's like, yeah, you are some crazy lunatic with no rules, but you still know how to behave. Like you're going to be like, okay, I'm having a thought to go hit my head on that tree over there and then you can be like no I'm not gonna do that it sounds it's so it sounds it sounds it sounds it sounds conflicting 
Which is why I say that's why I don't really want to explain this to you as a technique to try to do, but just be like, oh, that's the thought. Like if the thought was like, let's bang my head on that tree. Then you kind of just look at the tree and you just kind of accept the thought and you just don't do anything. You don't even need to have that thought where it's like, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Because then you're going to be really neurotic. Then you're going to have more stress. And I think when you get into that conflict place, then you're like, oh, I just want to bang my head on the tree to get it over with. So I can stop being so crazy. So I can stop being stressed out. So I can stop being neurotic. But it's like... I'm going to go bang that my head on that tree. Moving on with my life. Sounds, it sounds so like, like I know I get people that say my videos sound too spiritual, too woo woo, but I'm trying to really make this like practical. These are not like spiritual real teachings and techniques. These are methods that I want you to try to apply. I want you to try to apply them. I want you, if you can, as neurotic as it may seem, to think about where can you do this? Where can you apply this? How can you apply this? And why? Because something as simple as this may seem, if you can try to understand where I'm pointing towards, and I say pointing towards because I can't, it's like I can't tell you exactly how to do it. It's like, it's in here. I just, I need you to stop thinking about it and to start coming in here. Literally, it's like your tension is here and I want you to bring it down here. Focus on how you feel in here and deal with that. Address that. Accept this. Be okay with it. No matter how it feels, just be okay with it. Be okay wherever you are. Don't worry about where you want to be. Just be okay where you are. And that way, when you get where you want to be, you can be there. You can enjoy it. You can come in here again and feel those good emotions you're looking for. And when you're at work and you have those bad emotions, you could come in here and accept them and at least still have peace of mind. And then I want to leave this video off on the idea that, as I said, that could be why you're not where you want to be. As weird as that sounds, because the universe might want you to learn something, as spiritual as that sounds. It might want you to learn how to actually enjoy life before it gives you the life that you can enjoy. Which is exactly where I think I am right now, and exactly where I think you are right now, is looking for that subscribe button. Have a nice day.